Did you know that Walther makes a pistol for women? No, I'm not talking about the Walther PPK, smartass. The newish Walther PDP comes in woman flavor. Okay, so in my head that sounded like a funny way to say like a version for women, but now that I've said woman flavor out loud, I think I'm gonna have to walk that back. Guys, cut that part out and post. Cut. <clears throat> Walther makes a version of the PDP that's unfortunately marketed specifically for women, and I say unfortunate because there are a lot of anti-vaxxers in the gun community. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going there because we don't use the C word on TFB TV unless we're talking about cooties. Some gun guys never got their cooties shot. This is the Walther PDP F. F as in female. Men will not buy this. Are you going to buy a gun for women? I'm not. Imagine you're going to the range with one of your buddies and you find a Smith & Wesson Ladysmith hidden in his range bag. I'd rather catch him wearing pink panties, <laughs> hobos, <laughs> behind a 7-Eleven than see one of my homies with a Sig P365 Rose. Ugh. The Walther PDP F. F for female. Doesn't bother me. I'm a Glock guy through and through. I don't need a different striker fired polymer framed handgun in my life. Also, I'm a man, so I'm not going to buy any PDP. I'm confused right now. Is the regular PDP? It's gender ambiguous. I'm not going to buy one until they release the PDP M for men just to be on the safe side. Over the past year, I've been getting nothing but James. Try out the Walter PDP. You've got the 11th or 12th, maybe 13th best gun channel on YouTube. We might want to know your opinion. I've heard your comments, your prayers, the sweet little nothings that you whisper through the YouTube comment section to me. And it seems like this gun's loved by everyone who shoots it, the PDP. But whenever I had a wild hair to try one out, I couldn't find one. Big Joe, the manager at the Neutral Ground Gun Company, the newest, and dare I say it, best gun range in the New Orleans area at 212 Acock Street, let me borrow his full-size Walther PDP for this video. It's really nice, love the grip texture, great for the range, but it seemed a little big for concealed carry. He's got the full size. But when I was at EWA this year, I walked up to the Walther booth and I saw this PDP F. I didn't know what it was, couldn't figure out why everyone was laughing at me when I asked to see it. But I think to myself, damn, I love the ergos on this. Slide's easy to rack, it's easy to manipulate, feels good in the hand. I think I need to try one of these out as soon as I get back to the United States. I'm doing my research while I'm waiting for the gun to arrive, and that's when I find out. F doesn't stand for fun size, like I thought it did. Women, with their tiny hands and brains, have a hard time handling regular guns made for men, so thank God Walther decided to make this pistol for them. Very progressive. Maybe we should start calling them Wokther now, huh? Am I right? I strongly recommend that these be pink instead of black, though, just so women will know when they go to the gun store that this is for them. Just a suggestion. Apparently, shorter trigger reach, an entire inch taken out of the circumference of the grip, and easier to rack slide. That's what makes this gun ideally suited for the lay days, even though the slides look pretty much identical. PDP and PDPF. The grip is actually a bit slimmer. I like the contour, the shape, and the ergonomics on the F better. Sue me. If you buy the Walther PDPF and you modify the frame in any way, you're probably A, an idiot, and two, doing it just to be a special snowflake because ergonomically speaking, the PDPF has to be one of the best pistols I've handled right out of the box. Put a spoiler on your Camry instead. Don't screw with the PDP frame. Grip texture, the grip angle, the undercut and the trigger guard, the magazine release button, that's both copious and concealed. A very usable, but also tucked away slide release lever. Large slide serrations that are effective, but not obnoxious. Ergonomics are subjective. But for me, it's hard to find a better gun, ergonomically speaking, under $1,000 than this. I was shocked. The F uses PDP compact magazines, meaning it has a capacity of 15 plus one of nine mil, which is lower capacity than the 18 plus one from the PDP full size. But you can use the 18 rounders in the PDP F if you wish, although they'll protrude slightly, making the F slightly harder to conceal. 
maybe ultimately defeating the purpose, just get the effing full size. Speaking of concealed carry, this gun seems really well thought out. You have two options, a three and a half inch version like I'm testing in this review, or a four inch version. The four inch version will get you something like 30 feet per second or so of additional performance, according to some chronograph charts that I found online. So you get a little bit of performance boost at the cost of an ounce of weight, and a slightly longer gun. Of course, you guys want a comparison to the ever popular Glock 19. Capacity is the same. The Glock 19 has a four inch barrel. These guns fit in the same class. The PDP is a little bit thicker than the Glock 19 and the slide about a 10th of an inch, which is not insignificant. At 23 ounces, the Glock 19 with a four inch barrel is one ounce lighter than the four inch version of the PDP F and the same weight as the three and a half inch version. You're not talking about much difference between these two guns here, but the Glock 19 will be a little bit slimmer and lighter. Both guns are definitely larger than the P365 Macro, which has a whopping 17 round capacity. Both are larger than the Glock 43X, one of my most favorite carry guns, which has a capacity of up to 15 rounds with third-party magazines. If you're going purely for efficiency, there are outstanding smaller options that are out there. However, if you're looking for more features, better ergonomics, as well as optics compatibility with a full-size optic, not the slightly harder to use K-size optics, the PDPF is an attractive option. Walther PDP holster compatibility is not going to come close to the Glock 19, but Walther has intelligently created a page on their website that lists all of the compatible holsters and manufacturers that they come from, which is brilliant because this is a huge consideration for a carry gun. If you want to break into this market, you got to have holsters available. Who's going to buy a car if you can't park it anywhere? Let's get to the important part. How does it shoot? In a word, wonderfully. First 100 rounds through the PDP F. Pretty strong target. This was my first time ever shooting PDP. My first target, seven yards, a lot of it in the 10 ring. We had just one in the eight, everything else in the nine. Really good, especially for the first time shooting it. Uh, second time, third time, fourth time. Reliability was, of course, perfect, but I only fired about five boxes through it. Firing from seven yards at a relatively rapid pace, I put my very last five rounds in about a quarter size group before I walked off the range. Right here, this is the kind of target that you just go home on. So at seven yards, uh, five rounds, three of them touching here at the bottom, and then just two perfectly in the X, all in about an inch. I cheated this review a little bit because I was too lazy to install a red dot sight in the PDPF, which comes cut for a red dot, but I think you have to call Walther to get a plate for it or whatever. I don't remember how that works. Somebody explained it to me. I'm sure it's on their website. But maybe two years ago, I went from being an iron sights only guy to now seeing the light and the way, and I'm much more accurate with a red dot. I would have loved to have seen what I could do with a PDP and an optic. As mentioned, mag changes were really easy with the generous magazine release button. The slide release is intuitive, so much so that it feels semi-natural to use. I want to drive that point home because I review a lot of pistols for TFB TV, so my default is to just go over the top and manually release the slide rather than to think about using the slide release because I've got a different one every week. There are a few that are so good I can take advantage of them. When I think of a bad slide release, I think of the otherwise excellent Smith & Wesson M&P series, but when I think of a good one, the Germans always seem to do a great job. As with most striker-fired handguns, the trigger is rather glocky, and I know you guys think I don't have the balls to say it, but right out of the box, I think the PDP's duty trigger is better than the stock Glock 19. There, I said it. Are you happy? Can't put my finger on it. Side note, excellent pun by me. I can't put my finger on it, but I have seen a couple of other reviews that say you kind of have to try the trigger out to understand it. I agree with that. Glock does have that new performance trigger, which is probably better than the PDP duty trigger, but I've only shot it once at SHOT Show, so I can't really remember. Plus, it's an extra 100 bucks. As you can see in my shooting footage, if you've been paying attention, by the way, that reduced grip circumference meant that I was almost an entire digit deep into the trigger guard when I was shooting. Now, some people out there will say, oh man, you can't shoot a gun accurately if you've got that much finger on the trigger. You're going to be throwing shots 
into the next lane. Look, is it ideal to have that much finger on the trigger? No, but as you can see from my targets, I think that's mostly gun form FUD lore. Just be cognizant of your trigger control. PDP versus Glock 19, let's go. PDPF, ergonomically better. The standard trigger is better. The PDP comes optics cut as standard. However, it's also $100 more expensive dealer price than a stock Glock 19. It's the same price as the optics cut Glock 19 MOS, but you also get a free third mag with the MOS. Additional mags for the Glock 19, they're gonna be 15, 20 bucks versus $40 for the PDP. You're gonna have significantly more holster options and third party accessory options with the Glock 19, plus you're talking about a damn near 40 year history of perfect reliability from the Glock while the PDP is relatively new. That said, I'm here saying you can't go wrong with either. The Walther PDPF is a fantastic pistol. I was pleasantly surprised with how well thought out, how well designed it is. It's accurate. The controls were great. Yeah, it's a little pricey with a $700 MSRP, but that might be worth it to you because it comes with a lot of really good features. Yeah, I busted Walther's balls a little bit about marketing this pistol specifically towards women in the introduction of this video, and that's a shame because I do believe this will prevent some people from buying this gun when it shouldn't. At the same time, I applaud Walther's efforts to cater to a growing sector of the firearms community and not just painting a gun pink, right? Like they actually designed this gun to be better for people of smaller stature. Unfortunately, most of the gun industry is overrun by degenerate incels like us, 96% of our viewership is male. However, women welcome. We could use more people on this side of the gun fence. So thank you, Walter, for doing this. Ladies, don't be afraid to share a lane with us. Guys, maybe you should try out a gun for girls. I know most of you cried when Babe lost his mom anyway, so get out of here with that hyper-masculine bullshit. This was a great gun. I enjoyed myself. Pleasantly surprised. I love you all. Take care.